so here we are in our new capital I re I finished the uh, relocation I brought all the prisoners and the troops from Ikamo to Kudan and I also relocated my court here uh, you need uh, one tool tools and um, one velvet for that and uh, tools were not a problem they're pretty much they you can buy them in all these cities pretty much but um, for the velvet I had to go all the way to Yelkala only there I found some velvet so yeah it took quite a while and um, I think Vegas are starting to recover a bit because Nords declared war on Kyrgyz so I think they took some pressure it took some pressure out from the Vegas and I think they'll they are starting to recover at least a bit during all this time only one lord joined my kingdom he came from the Vegas and now I don't really want to accept him at least yet because if you accept a lord into your kingdom and you won't him any fee we won't give him any fees he will you will start losing relations with him and quite fast I think it's minus four every f several days maybe a week no it's definitely I think it's definitely more often several days maybe so it after only a few weeks it goes down really low where where you can you really cannot hope to rise it into any acceptable levels so and I don't want to accept him because he's really not that good if you can take a look look at him it's Lord Bracha he has very low renown he doesn't have any family just one sister so I don't know I think I I will have to concentrate on these three Gulasen Mugnir and Telemsan and maybe Tredian keep it keep it out of the negative with Tredian and just concentrate on these three I think I'll give Ikamo to Gulasen because it seems that these two like him like him more than they like each other so he would be me and maybe I will appoint him a marshal so he will even now he will have three three lords in his in his army if he decides to go on a campaign so I don't know how I think I'll leave Gulasen I leave Lord Bracha for now just standing around here and won't won't talk with with him and won't accept him into my kingdom yet if I start getting more Vagir lords I might consider him but I think that's already too late for that I will concentrate on Serenid lords and uh, maybe S Swadian lords because I already accepted Tredian and I gave him a castle yeah, 
it says that Os that I should hip give Oslan to somebody. But I would like to give Ica more. And the way it works, it's a uh, minister tells you what what fief your vassals want to get assigned and at this time it's Uslim and if I press on Uslim I can give to any lord but it says that Gulison has a support of three lords that means himself most probably and two others which are Mughnir and Tilimsan I'm guessing so if I give this fief to him I'll, I will give, give, get a um, boost to relations not only with Gulasin but with other two um, but with other two and uh, if I give it to Chedian I will get a minus with all the, those three and I think if I give it to Muhnir or Telimsan I still won't get a minus with Gulasen. It will stay neutral. Other two lords, uh, Sarinid lords, would stay neutral. So that's why you should concentrate on one. I think one. One faction lords would be the most efficient way, but I already gave quite significant fief to Tredian so I will try to balance two two groups but that's why I don't want to take Bracha because he will make a third group and I just don't want to bother with with trying to balance three groups of vassals plus you have a really limited options of doing that in native game in uh, s in most of the other mods that I played you have a lot more options and you can balance you can send gifts and pay for boost with it to do to their relations with the with lords but in native game you don't, cannot do that so I won't do that I won't bother with other lords let's try and give uh, Ikemur to Lord Gulasen and I see that the other two lords didn't get didn't get any boost nor received any negative but Tredian dropped by uh, relations with Tredian dropped by three it was seven now it's four I don't think the vassals would leave your kingdom if they are a little bit into the negative I think you can get away with five six maybe even more the main thing I think is to keep them not becoming your enemies and the Lords are considered your enemies if they go below 20, I think, minus 20. So it's not that hard to keep juggling few groups of lords, but more than a few would be a problem, I think. So I decided not to assign these villages yet even though the my vassals already supposedly speculating about who's gonna get Uslum and Gulasen has 
uh, support of three vassals to get this village. I'm actually gonna wait and see if it changes because I just gave Kulisen uh, the, the city so maybe this them they will start supporting some other lord I don't know in the meantime I'll just continue uh, recruiting and maybe hunting down Vagir Lords and if it, something interesting happens I'll just record it so it has been some time the war is still going on with Vagirs and Vagirs are still at war with Kajits although Kajits are starting to get swamped because Saranids declared war on them now too so the Kajits are at war with Saranids, Nords and Vegas still so probably they will start get getting beaten I just hope that Saranids and Nords won't take any castles near me that we won't have a border although at this point I'm not too afraid of having a two front war especially with factions that are already bleeded out in some wars um, I will start it I think I will start looking at taking maybe Iruma Castle or, or Schlesk or maybe even Rivercheck although I do know that Rivercheck is a siege siege tower town so it will take a few days for me to siege it and assault it and probably my vassals won't stick around for that long and Rivercheck has a quite decent gar garrison a bit better than Kudan I think than Kudan had so and I didn't get any lords joining me so I'll probably I'll give the that Uslum village to Gulasen because all the vassals are supporting him. Yeah, Uslum to Gulasen. I will lose some relations with Tredian. Yeah, I lost relations with him. Although I didn't get plus relations with other lords that were supporting Gulasan. That's strange. Maybe I the th because I gave him Ikamo it did something, I don't know. Well, I will see how they will react. Um, I think I will accept this one, but I won't give him any thieves. He just let him just be, and when he reaches a really low relations with me, like minus one hundred, he might leave. Or if he won't, then he won't. I won't care about him. I'll just accept him. I already have a minus relations with him. I 
Oh, I had a few battles that I didn't record, but it was really with the... with the lords that had really small armies, like 30, I think 40 was the best one that I fought during these days, and that wasn't really that interesting, we just, just stomped him, and I won't, and I'm not taking any prisoners, I will start taking prisoners only in the more I will take prisoner only those lords that are more important to Vegas like maybe a king definitely the marshal and maybe some other lords that have more than few fiefs more than one or more than one village because those matter the most. Yeah, how goes? No, I'm not intimidated. It still says the same thing. Vegas, I think they won't sign peace with me until they're com almost completely crushed. If I remember correctly, in one of the previous games, also the faction that I started my kingdom and started war with you cannot start a kingdom start a kingdom and not be at war with that, with anyone so the first faction you start out that war they pretty much keep that war going for a very long time until they or you are destroyed pretty much so as I was I think I was too optimistic about them asking for peace they won't ask for peace for a really long time I'm just finding out where where all of my other lords are yeah they they are hanging out around their thieves so I'll just go again raid go through the Vega lands once more trying to catch their lords and continuing recruiting I think I will start moving on on to I think maybe Uruma castle probably or Shlesk. I will look at their garrisons and then decide which one I will take so that's it for this update here we are this might be a bit more interesting uh, first here's the Lord Tredian it's the first time I've seen him in the field he has just that one castle Nella, Nella Castle, this one, and he has quite a lot of troops. It's 142. Uh, pity that those troops are really well on the verge of bad. Yeah, I would call them bad. He has. Mainly level 2 and 3 troops. Militia and skirmishers. Militia are just one step above recruits, and skirmishers are just one step above militia. They basically, skirmishers are bad crossbowmen. And his troops are really only useful maybe in defense. I don't I won't really I wouldn't be happy taking him on some castle siege because 
that low level troops they will just all they do it will die and clog up the the ladders so it's not useful really maybe as a just distraction the quality of lord armies are dependent it depend on the wealth of their fiefs so maybe if I'll give him a few more villages or even another castle he might become okay and I saw Gulasen he has around 100 troops and his troops are a bit better than Tredian's they're mostly third level so that's something but enough about my lords here's the two lords of uh, of Vegas and this one seems to follow Eric is following Doro so I'll probably beat them both uh, Tredian might join this battle but I don't know we'll see oh hey look is Boru actually a their marshal he might be okay maybe I'll be able to take them on I need to take out Doro this boya because he's clearly on campaign let's see how many joins just three okay maybe maybe let's just see how it goes yeah, they have 300 I really need to leave my mm. yeah they have a clear advantage although not in troop quality hey actually sent I made a support charge so I need to that's actually okay because now we Missing everything. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I think we're actually doing quite all right. He almost broke my shield. I really should watch out for the charges. Because that's the only way they can really hurt me. Is by... By charging. their infantry this is really 
not useful against heavy cavalry. Where we were clearly been winning. That's what um, heavy cavalry means. How did I miss that? Troop quality just wasn't on par with mine. I lost just one veteran. They lost more than 200. Hey, look, they still have 100 troops left. But although knowing the AI, these will probably be a be of better quality. The AI tends to stick the better troops um, last on a roaster, on an army roaster screen. Okay, where are they? Oh, well, they are behind him. That's actually a very good place for a cavalry charge. Now they've poor quality troops, I can see. They'll get just stomped. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry dude. Should really watch out. As usually, I'm targeting archers because I don't trust my trips to be actually smart and take out the. Most dangerous targets first. There we are. I don't think I lost anyone. Yeah, not even one wounded. And Doro escaped. I really wanted to catch him. See you later. No. I just don't want C Raiders. Well, okay. Maybe I'll take them. Just stick in the town and leave for defense, I guess. And just like that, we just defeated pretty much the whole bigger army. Now let's see uh, what's the situation. I think there's still maybe one lord, a few lords left. 
Yeah, Rudin. I think Rudin was the last their last Marshall. But now it seems to be Doro. Which is fine by me. I'll just I would probably take Rudin prisoner if I can. Yeah, I don't even have too many wounded people. The border incident between Nords and Vegas, yeah, that's to my advantage. By the way, Kajits and Vegas made peace. So Vegas are actually at war just with me. And Rudin is also one of my friends, because he's the Lord of Rivacek, I think. And I did a lot of Sirida Leia quests to him for him but that won't help you boyar I'll just defeat him I didn't even actually pay attention to the quality of his troops I don't remember he, he seems to have Quite a few horsemen. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Nah. I'm ah, just blue feet galore. some of my troops but hey they're killing knights but it's a vegan knight so they're usually quite nice but since I'm at war with wagers constantly their troops are really not that important for me because they have really low morale they get a penalty to morale so I either way I won't I don't use them too much and he escaped too so I fought what six lords and all of them escape. Uh, that's a bit of bullshit. But whatever. I won't complain too much because it's really going quite good for me. and now after so many battles I think I'll just go back unload the prisoners and loot and come back for another round maybe I'll catch king again or maybe they will ask for peace who knows we'll see you later So I caught the king, but two other Vega lords joined this battle 
too and the thing is that Lord they also defeated Lord Tredian my Lord before this battle I couldn't help him and you lose one point of relations every time your Lord is defeated in a field or taken prisoner I think they took him prisoner so I will if I defeat th these three Lords I will release him and get the booster relations so actually it's a good thing that I caught them and here we are they have 178 troops and I have 95 but we saw that the quantity never works out in the AI's advantage they don't have too many too much advantage even now 80 against 62 that it will be a slaughter I think a slaughter I mean sometimes I cannot speak okay just attack that's a lot of they had quite a bit of cavalry too but he didn't really use it to his advantage oh my god I get, I'm getting a bit should really watch out for the lances oh my god there's I'm actually losing quite a few a bit swamped I think I lost quite a few actually oh yeah because I didn't do what I was planning to do plan to leave my archers That's a cluster fuck. If I ever saw one. Although we won pure purely on our troop quality. But I could have done it managed this battle a lot better. Like maybe leaving my archers on some hill I won't be surprised if I lost a lot of missile troops yeah I lost 11 that's quite a lot knights, veterans no well I'm, I lost mainly knights and infantry Yes, I'll take you prisoner. Oh look, I had... 
have a boost of plus seven to my relations with him. Now who do I want? Footman or Skirmisher? I think I'll take Footman. And Infantry. And one Skirmisher. I lost a lot more than I anticipated. But it's not. It is not a game breaking, far from it. Together with the last few battles and this one, I have pretty much destroyed all their lords so they'll take a longer time to recover and in the meantime I'll see what I can do with about the maybe I'll try to take the castle maybe We'll see. After a series of successful battles, we um, I'm keeping the Vegas down for yet for quite some time, and I think I, ha I have a, a window of opportunity and the means to take another castle but I'm still debating which one probably this one Iruma but I'm a bit concerned that it might be considered as a border with Nords I don't think so but I don't really know for sure if Ravadin really separates us or is it considered a border because I don't want to get another border with another faction not yet I could just go straight for river check but I don't know we have another lord that joined my kingdom and I, I will probably assign another village to some lord this time it's Shulus it's a village near Kudan and Lord Mugnir has a most support. It's again the trio of lords, Kulas and Mugnir, Stilimsan, supporting each other. And I recently got the boost in relations with Tredian from releasing him from his captors. So I will get minus with Tredian, minus three egg, I think won't be a problem so I'll give the Shulus to Magnir and I got with Lord Bracha my relations are minus 12 now it's they are deteriorating deteriorating at a constant rate because I don't give him anything any fiefs and now I will accept this lord it's a I think it's a former Kyrgyz lord he's even worse than Bracha because his renown is just 200 that's really pathetic I don't I won't give him anything no fiefs that's for sure but I will accept him No, 
now. I want to know where my Tradian is still not returned from when I released him from captivity. He's near Yoruba. I met Gulesen and Mugnir. They were traveling towards Kuraf. Last I saw them when I was traveling back to Kudan. Yeah, then I think they're raiding the Schlesk village. So maybe I'll go attack Schlesk castle, grab them both since they're there. They are nearby, so I will tell them just to follow me and grab the Schles castle maybe because yeah Mugnir is in the same place and where is Telemsan? yeah he's sticking around his only village in the corner of the map The Kyrgyz are getting their asses kicked pretty badly. I think Havmar is under siege now by Nords. Rodox are not in the war with anyone at this time. And I don't think that Nords will declare war on Vegas, although they have that event where fac one faction if it pro provoked another one with Vegas but I don't think they will declare war because they are already at war with Kyrgyz it would be very helpful if Nords declared war on them too then maybe finally they would accept peace Although I'm started starting to think that I don't really want peace maybe with Vegas anymore. I'll just keep on smashing them, taking their castles and cities. I'm already past that initial difficulty. I think I could easily fight to front war right now so yeah we are we are really close at the point where where my kingdom is pretty much in invincible though I think I will need to take at least few more castles and maybe another city for me to say without a doubt that this game is actually already won and everything that's left is just grinding but we'll see and um, I think I'm gonna move on to this castle <laughs>